Oh, hey there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Oliver Jan. If you're new, I love to talk about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and financial independence. If you saw my last video, I talked a lot about side hustles and how I was doing a tutoring job when I was also a grad student. And when, actually, I still do it a little bit now too. But I wanted to share a couple more side hustles that you could also try in your free time as well. So the reason why we want to think about income diversification in general is because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Let's say you're working like that cushy nine to five job and pandemic occurs and you lose your job. Well, what are you gonna do for income? You gotta find another job. And side hustle is actually kind of a way to diversify your income. So just like you don't put all your eggs in just one basket, you wanna have different baskets making you money. All right, so let's begin. The first side hustle that I wanna share is obviously tutoring. I still do it and it's one that I started off with. It was literally like the most elementary thing I was doing at the time because I just thought, well, I, I know how to teach chemistry and I love helping people out. So I thought put one and one together and bam, I could just teach chemistry. So that was the first foray into pursuing a side hustle. It was like gratifying in two ways. So the first is that not only are you helping someone, you're helping someone that actually needs help. So they actually requested for your services. And not only that, but they're also paying you for your time, which is critical because there's just like this transaction where you can actually make money and you can help people. So it's very symbiotic in that relationship too. So that was one of the coolest parts of tutoring for me. I really enjoy that aspect and I like hustled pretty hard in grad school. I think I had like, at one point I had probably eight or like eight clients at the minimum and almost up to 15 or 16 at most. And it was, it got really hectic for sure. I had to cut down during some periods, but like it, it blew up because not only can you gain a lot of reach based on who you tutor and how you tutor, they can also, the students and the client, they can also help spread your name across the local area too. And that's one way to get re re repeat business as well. So definitely tutoring f for sure is like a huge way. You can leverage what you know. You could just make money off of the knowledge that's in your brain. So the second side hustle I have is actually sneaker reselling. And sneaker reselling is actually just a piece of retail arbitrage. So you can apply the same principle to almost anything that has uh, significant supply and demand. So for instance, uh, sneakers, magic cards, um, those are the two personally that I've done. Uh, I know you can do like buy stuff for cheap off of eBay and Amazon and just sell it back to those same platforms too if you, if, if you wanted. But the one I want to focus on specifically is actually sneaker reselling because that's actually taken off tremendously in the past like couple of years. And basically sneakers have always been coveted by a lot of like niche uh, sneaker collectors. I, I'm one of them. You're taking advantage of low supply and a very, very high demand. And I'm no expert in, in economics, but if you have that type of situation, if you have the demand is gonna dictate what the price will be. So if a shoe retails for like 160 bucks, that sh same shoe can resell in the aftermarket for like six, seven, depending on what shoe you're talking about. If you're, or if we're talking about like an off-white Air Jordan 1, that could go all the way up to four Gs. That's a lot of money. And that, it, that, difference is your straight margin right there. And that's a lot of money that you can just take home into your wallet. So sneaker reselling, basically, let's just take this shoe for example. This is the Air Jordan 1 LA to Chicago, then the Defiant pack. And this was a um, Nike SB collaboration with Jordan. So this, this is a very unique sneaker. It only dropped in sneaker shops and it had a very limited release. So I was able to snag this off of StockX which is not sponsoring this video. And I got it for like, hmm, pretty decent penny, but I got it pretty early. Now, if you look at StockX, these are going for like 600 bucks or so for a brand new pair. My pair is not is not new, so I've actually used this. And that's okay though, because you don't have to just flip uh, new shoes. You can also flip used shoes. So GOAT is also, a platform that you can use to sell um, used material or used gear. And yeah, definitely uh, a really cool way to think about like just your regular commodity goods and how you can resell it for more money. 
All right, so the third side hustle can do all the rideshare businesses. Obviously, we're, you've probably used it. Uh, Uber, Lyft, Uber Eats, DoorDash, all these other different platforms. They're all so amenable because all you need is a car. And depending on your age, of course, a car might be difficult to come by. But if you do have a car and you have a lot of free time, and let's say you had nothing to do Friday night, you could just boot up your Uber app and just go do some ride sharing. And it's depending on your area and depending on the demand and the surge, and there's a lot of different factors that go into it, but you can make some money on the side from your day job and that could help pay for you know, a nice movie, a nice dinner, you could pay for a nice gift if you do it frequently enough. And it's definitely a really lucrative way to like think of your free time. If you're next to an airport, for instance, you can totally just like take rides to the airport, pick people up from the airport, bring them back to another region, and then pick more people up, bring them back to the airport, take them to like a convenience store or something, then you can make you can make some money off of this for sure. So this is one that I've not personally done, but I was in grad school. I thought like maybe I should try this because I, I had a car and I thought maybe this could be a good way to make some money on the side. So the fourth one is actually all forms of real estate. Uh, real estate can be split up into like just having a rental home and also using um, the spare bedrooms or even an attached unit in your probably on your property to use for Airbnb. And basically, like if you leverage your real estate market and you're let's say you're in a very touristy town, you can actually use the property that you own to make you money to basically pay off your um, to help you pay down your mortgage or just pocket that into your or just pocket that much money and call it a day so with real estate uh, now this is a topic that i've actually not delved into myself i'm saving up at the moment so i there's probably more updates in the future about this but basically what i've heard is that for real estate there's a lot of write-offs i can do that help lower your tax burden as well so basically what I'm re referring to is that not only will having real estate help you generate passive income if you decide to, you can use that income that you generate and you put that towards your mortgage directly and that can help you build more equity into your property. So more about this later in a future video, but definitely like something to keep in mind. Real estate is a very popular way to make money on the side, or it can actually be your full-time gig, honestly. So the fourth way of making passive income is actually through dividends. And dividends are not necessarily a side hustle because they're more of a passive form of income. But let me explain first what a dividend really is. So let's say you're fortunate enough to own a share of Apple. And Apple, as you know, is a $2 trillion company. It's worth a lot of money. And they have a lot of cash on the side. What Apple will do is if you own a share of Apple, they're going to literally give you some of that piece of the pie. And depending on how many shares you own, that's just going to multiply the amount of money that you get. So for instance, if you have mm, one share and they pay you 19 cents per share, well, that means you get 19 cents every single quarter because they distribute dividends on a quarterly basis. So every three months, you can expect a check of 19 cents coming into your wallet. Um, but if you have multiple shares of Apple, well, you can just multiply that 19 cents by that however many shares you have. So basically, dividends are just a very, very straightforward way of just making money on the side. You literally don't have to raise a finger. The only thing you have to do, however, is put in the equity and the capital to be able to acquire these shares of Apple or uh, REITs. And there's a lot of different types of commodities and equities that you can get. So I would say maybe start small, let it snowball a little bit. There's actually something called a drip, which is not the sneaker kind of drip or the fashion drip, but it's dividend reinvestment programs, which these companies offer to allow that 19 cents to be reinvested into Apple shares. So it may seem like very little, but if you actually snowball this a little bit, you can get a lot of shares of Apple per quarter if you keep this up over the long run. So dividends, great way. It's super easy, very chill, nothing like nothing you have to do on your end, they'll pay you money. But I will say this, dividends are not the most stable. Dividends can be cut, and that has been cut before because of economic crises. So for instance, in 2020, loss of the oil industry, the oil industry is fairly 
uh, popular because they pay a high dividend. But because of this year in 2020, entire, it's been a terrible year overall. The dividends have been cut from companies before. So what you want to do is you want to look for companies that actually have not decreased their dividend in multiple years, which means they have a very good cash flow into their business. So there's all different types. You can What you can look up is the dividend aristocrats. And uh, Microsoft is one of the top ones. I know Johnson Johnson is a great uh, one as well. Uh, 3M is also very popular for dividends. Uh, Target, I believe, is also good. So I, I won't belabor the details, but yeah, dividends are just a great way to make money on the side where you don't have to do anything. So let's wrap up. So the first one that I have is tutoring. Tutoring is a really great way to make money and it's a great way to leverage your, your skills and your knowledge that you've gained over the years. But you have to be quite patient. That's the other caveat is if you had to be quite patient with working with students because sometimes not every student's gonna get it the first time around. So you gotta be very patient, gotta be very eloquent when you, um, when you speak and you have to be very efficient with how you present the material too. Second one is sneaker reselling. This one is definitely very fun. If you love sneakers, you could apply the same concept to uh, designer bags, maybe even uh, clothing too. I know Supreme is a big one. So that's that's a, the second option. The third one you could also try is just doing your regular Uber, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Lyft, all these other different platforms and just make money off of that. The other one is real estate. You need quite a bit of capital though to get into it, but if you're in it already, you can. this is something that you can consider. Uh, for sure, you can make quite a bit of money this way. And the last one that I talked about was actually just pursuing dividends. And dividends are a very easy way to just make money on the side without even lifting a finger, honestly. So yeah, that just about does it for me. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like below, comment and subscribe. I get back to everyone for sure in the comment sections and let me know, like give me some ideas of what side hustles that you're doing right now because I'd love to see what you guys have. Maybe I could try it myself too. All right, until next time, cheers.